have Kate Kivara in studio, the CEO of Kate's Organics. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. Yes. <laughs> so do you. Oh, I don't <laughs> think so. Um, this so is... To be here. <laughs> Karibu sana. Thank Karibu you. Sana. Thank you. You've been running a brand that's very legit. It's been on our shelves for a couple of years now. And having you here is such a great honor and just because we're talking about colon, uh, colon cleansing yeah i think maybe we'd need more time to even go through you know who kate is what i do but today with because we have kidogo time we'll get into colon cleansing but before that kindly introduce yourself to the people let them know what it is that you do and just a little bit about kate's organics yes thank you for having me here my name is kate kibara i'm a clinical nutritionist and a colon hydrotherapy and I'm also the CEO of Kate's Organics Limited, mm -hmm. where we package, distribute, and sell organic produce. Uh -huh. uh, so I've been doing this for a couple of years. Um, um, I studied law, <laughs> but because of my body weight, I grew up obese and never, you know, that just self-esteem yes. issues. So I ended up studying in London, and I did a clinical nutritional alternative medicine and i decided that's what uh, i wanted to be my career so that's me today it was drawn from your personal life story it yes. was a passion of wanting to find out primary school i was fine being fat okay but <laughs> everybody looks down on you they tell you you're big i remember we had uh, when i joined form one i was in a girls boarding school in Nairobi mm -hmm. and we we needed to do a talent show the first month we yes. joined the school as a mono so um, I decided to model <laughs> so I have this bed sheet tied over uh, you know half of it down half of it on top yeah. and as I'm walking down the stage we used to use the <laughs> only uh, room we had and then they started screaming you're fat you're fat that's the day I knew that I was fat. I had never known in my entire life, because all my siblings, we were, we were not in a, <laughs> yeah. we were bigger, <laughs> my, my parents yeah. in primary school, nobody had a problem until I joined a High girls' school. school that they shouted when I was walking up the stage. And that's when it started, it hit me. What were they saying? Why were they booing? What was showing that was not supposed to show? So as much as I studied hard, I, I, I was enrolled to study law. I told myself I still need to identify mm. that that small thing that made me think it's not that I should have walked. You know, the only thing I thought I would do was to model bed sheet. It's not like you're dancing. It's just a walk. Yeah, walk with just <laughs> That's how Kate. Kate That's Kate, how Kate, my Kate, life. Yeah, it changed. It, it changed that night, like uh, when I was years old mm -hmm. just gave me a respect for my life that gave me a passion to i used to read to google how do, how do i become smaller because that time i knew i'm fat so what do you do do you That's need to pressure you need at home it was you see because so clever yeah. they used to copy my books <laughs> <you know, laughs> <time to look. laughs> so depression part was not made it wasn't loud you know, it was because yeah. i was clever but till the back of my mind so mm. i don't want to be anywhere else. maybe i'm going to some parts maybe yeah, first big thing will the again. same thing and tell me you're so i need to know what's wrong with me because i grew up i was so happy with my <laughs> no problem with me until that i told you you need a whole other show <laughs> to go through kate a guy who was born today we're talking about colon thing you're an expert it comes to cleansing what exactly it well i'm a college therapist certified uh, in the uk um you know our lives i'm talking about maybe from the 20th century we are eating a lot of healthy food we've been exposed i'll talk about kenya right now in africa a lot of junk food a there's all on fast food less but one of them, when maybe parents growing up or maybe part of us when we're growing up so we have foods that are in fiber, don't drink enough water. Our lifestyles become so big. So mm -hmm. you wake up, you go back, there's so much traffic of time for yourself. We don't have a healthy diet. We end, you know, uh, in our systems, we have um, digestive system. 
Mm-hmm. Which is the most important. The other things are also important to the digestive system. Also as important as the rest. So when you can in the uh, eight and people, this morning the children are taking the soluble fibers to my bowel. This comes out. That is not happening because of the lifestyle. What happens? We retain a lot of toxins in the bowel, large intestines. Small intestines are the main for absorption. So your vitamins, your minerals are absorbed back. So the blood goes to the large bowel. And the large bowel is supposed to uh, absorb water. Yeah. So <laughs> it's water. Mm. And so there's other factors, the insulinic factors. There are other things that happen in the bowel. But when you do not have a regular bowel as you is a problem. Okay. Start uh, developing something as out intoxication. Poison yourself in the out. Mm-hmm. Kate is doing every day. Yeah. I'm not removing the rest as I eat. It is a regular bowel movement. It's a day. Okay. Okay. Every day you have two movements. And uh, it, I think because of lifestyle, uh, what I've been talking about, you have like one in a day. You have be one two days mm. and uh, according to your rhythm cycle your movement person should be in the morning when you wake up because between six and nine and nine because that's when your body makes for the uh, well is active that's what you should happen but you find it doesn't happen because it interrupts we eat healthy mm. so five is a super access room so if I eat if I eat yesterday or mm. the morning Except of my well. This is a very important conversation, Kate, because most people do not take well movement seriously. Leave our life, like said we're very far. I'm going to ask you a question this morning. How often do you get your movement? Have you ever heard of college and say? Is it something that considered before? Ever considered? We'll take a very short commercial break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. We're talking matters, Colin Clancing, and we have Kate Kibara of Kate Organics in the building. And you told us some very important things that we should not ignore. If it's not two times a day, your bowel movement, then you should be very worried that something is not going on right in your colon. Exactly. And not even that. Yeah. Movements. If you mm-hmm. have a poor skin. Poor like skin. For, yeah. Uh, sometimes it's hormonal imbalance or some things you've done. But yeah. if you have like pimples popping up every other day and you're doing your best, it means that you're clogged from the inside. It's coming out. On exactly. The it's, it's an eruption yes. of so much toxicity within you that your body, you know, your body needs to look for ways. Your body protects you, by the way. It needs to look for ways of getting rid of what you're putting in. All these chemicals, anything you eat that is not natural, that the body does not understand, mm-hmm. it fights back. Yes. So it's try to get out. So one of the signs of a clogged colon is uh, having all those problems on your skin. If it's not hormonal imbalance, it could be hormonal as a teenager, yeah. or if you're taking some hormonal pills. The other thing could be when you go to the washroom, I'm sorry, <laughs> to discuss this and you're there with a magazine for 30 minutes that should not happen a bowel movement should be an easy thing to do we have something known as a bristol school stool scale whereby you know sometimes you have uh, you have like the pebbles you know, mm. small pebbles like mm-hmm. for for a goat for or, goats, or whatever yes. you know the small pebbles or when you're having stra- you're struggling to have a bowel movement yes. or when after you've done it you still feel that you, you yeah you've not done yes it. exactly and then there are other symptoms like um uh, consti- constipation in fact constipation is the leading cause of death any health problem you have starts from constipation it's only that we don't look at it from that aspect oh wow when your system is clogged that's when all the problems start because tox- uh, toxins are recycling or they are running all over your system, mm. so they are creating havoc, and your body is trying so hard to fight that. So, according to the Bristol stool scale, and uh, a beautiful, okay, a healthy stool should look like a banana, you know. <laughs> you just call it beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, I see, I see. But if you have that, if you have skid, uh, skid marks on mm. the sink, mm. if you have this tool that you flash is okay now. Yes. That's the same thing. Uh, if you have a, that small belly that comes when you eat. Yes. That a small pot belly. It means that your colon is clogged. What happens? The colon absorbs water. The uh, small intestines are mm. taking the nutrients, the yes. colon absorb water, so to ensure that whatever comes out is a, a little bit solid. There's also the B, uh, B1 vitamins, the intrinsic factor, so those ones of, of, and the healthy bacteria, they're working there. But the waste has to come out as it should, and your bowel should be emptied every 24 hours, but within the 24 hours, there are periods where it should be emptied depending on what you're eating. Okay. Like if it's vegetables and fruits every two hours, if you're having fruits every 45 minutes, if you're having like a, a solid meal, and unfortunately things like uh, nyamachoma that we eat all the time, and that's a culprit for a clogged colon. It takes about 72 hours or oh. it never comes out. So when you have this meat, let's assume maybe uh, today is the 25th, maybe over Madaraka, uh, Kenyatta Day. We, we were somewhere, we get nyama choma. Yes. That nyama is still in our system, system. because there's nothing that is pushing it out. Okay. So what your system does, the colon is still doing what it's supposed to do. It absorbs water back into, into the body to ensure that the waste comes out. There's no fiber. I never ate anything that had fiber from the vegetables and fruits. I did not drink enough water. Mm. I did not exercise. And then in the colon walls, you have a, a layer called mucus plaque, that protective layer that coats your digestive tract. It's just a natural coating in case so that you don't have an ulcer or anything. So now I've eaten all this nyama. It's not moving. It's sitting there for three, four days. By today, it's rotten. By the time that nyama comes out, and it does not come out, it coats your colon walls. So it creates another layer on your villi. Uh -huh. And that is known as mucus black. Mm. So what you leave is a small hole for elimination. So whatever you're removing is just maybe like 10% of, oh of what goodness. you have eaten. And when that is happening, so when this thing is coating, and it's not only nyama, I'm sorry, I've just no, 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 it's fine. It's sticky good for foods, the if you're eating uh, high gluten foods, if you don't drink enough water, if you don't exercise, just a, it was just an example. So this thing that has coated my it, uh, colon from the inside, it's still absorbing water every day. So because this thing is rotting, it's absorbing, uh, taking in toxins, and they go back to your, to your system. So okay. you have something known as auto-intoxication. You're poisoning yourself inside out. So what, what exactly does colon cleansing mean? How is it done? Colon cleansing is a simple way. You know, um, the body cleanses itself naturally, and it's known as detoxification, and that's why we have our liver the detox engine that helps you cleanse you know even if like if you take if you drink alcohol you have the uh the enzyme that mm -hmm. helps in uh breaking down the alcohol and that is it's called i've forgotten the name if you take anything it's broken down in the liver enzymes are ready to break down so that it's taken back you have the kidneys when you drink water we have a square foot of capillaries like that 23,000 square feet so you're cleansing from the inside but if this does not happen when you retain so colon cleansing is not a natural way it's when now you introduce water through the rectum to flush out or to remove this uh, encrusted uh, mucus plaque that sits in your colon uh, for you to start afresh or for you to, to feel healthy or in case you are in the extreme like you are constipated you had hemorrhoids you had weight pr uh, weight problems skin problems you had a condition with your bowel yeah. it actually helps in that and it tells us an average person has about um, seven kilos mm. of plaque that just sits in the bowel. You don't know. You would never okay. know okay. until it's too late. Kate, I am sorry, but our time is up. And I know we haven't even scratched the surface of this. And Carol, please, can we have Kate back?
Okay, great. Kara said yes. Kara said yes. We need a part two. But today you came with some goodies and they're not here, but I have them in studio. I can see them from here, but then I'll be showing you what they are after this break. But what is it that you brought for our audience today? Oh, I brought us what uh, we do at Kids Organics. We have antioxidants, stand steves, uh, things that help you cleanse naturally. It's not like you're trying to put anything in your system. We have, we have uh, one of them is green tea highest uh, product with fat metabolism so it helps in weight loss we have something like honey which is a no, natural nice. sweetener we have something like moringa mm. uh, and moringa is a multi nutrient dense food moringa should be something that you use every day yes because when you're eating our foods we never get all those nutrients we okay. cook the wrong way we do everything <laughs> wrong so that encourages that we have uh -huh. aloe vera uh immune boosting if you want to protect yourself right mm. now we have covid and mm. a whole lot mm -hmm. so it really helps with that okay. we also have a refreshing drink called rejuvenate just to make you wake up and just feel when you don't want to taste the green stuff yes we also have chamomilla that helps with digestion also helps you sleep so there's a variety okay. and bucket. you are gifting five of our audiences today nine nine of our audiences <laughs> wow okay nine of your of of our audiences today and i'll be telling you how you get the package from kate's organics we're going to take a very quick commercial break we'll be right back thank you so much kate for coming thank we'll you we'll definitely too. have you back thank you so much